we are looking at an ICM 1503 intermittent ignition oil primary now I bought this one a couple years ago I don't do a whole lot of oil furnace work I basically have this one customer that has a couple furnaces and I stocked a couple parts for them and I've already replaced one of the belt drive blower motors one of the ignition transformers one of the burner motors so these things have been around since 1991 so I want to have some parts in stock so I ordered an oil primary control and it looks like it's a pretty simple control you know you have your your TT wires which is it says right here on the control itself for thermostat now you jump those out to make sure it runs now you got your F and F going to your CAD cell I haven't had to replace any CAD cells or anything like that on these furnaces but those are pretty simple connections right there um, you have three wires coming off. You have a black, a white, and an orange. Now the orange you see is going to the ignition control and burner motor. See it splits after it comes out of here. And you can see all the stuff down here at the bottom, which I'll zoom in on here in a second. You have a white, which is basically the other side of the line voltage, going to your other neutrals and things like that. And then we have a black going up to our limit controller. Now you have this fan and limit controller that mounts in these things. And some of this technology is sort of seems like it's older technology but it's still being used and I have two of those in service right now that I'm working on the reason why I don't like this controller and I didn't think about it until after I bought it is it is I don't know where it's written down here I'm trying to find it upside down it's a 45 second lockout so you see it has lockout time is 45 seconds let's zoom in there well, as you can see we have a 45 second lockout time to me and I'm no oil furnace expert by any means I don't think I want the oil furnace spewing oil into the drum or the firebox for 45 seconds before it locks out. And then if some guy comes along and hits the button and it does it again for 45 seconds and then someone comes along and it finally lights and you got this massive fire inside. I had it one time where someone hit the button several times on one of these furnaces and it finally lit but there was so much raw oil in the drum I mean there was uh, smoke going everywhere and it's just you had to like I think Steve Lav is the one that told me, you just gotta let it burn out. Cause what else are you gonna do? But this is the ICM 1503, just a simple primary control. Something I had on the shelf I wanted to go over real quick.